good morning and welcome to a just put it in there. Put what in there? Home vlog. Home vlog. <laughs> sort of. Very good. Well, so today is actually going to be a fun look at uh, what our day looks like before we leave for a trip. Right? <laughs> what? And you want to put a seashell in there? We, we don't, don't have, have any. Seashells. They're all in there. We put them all in there, buddy. So we're leaving. So the other one too. Yeah. So we are leaving for our holiday trip, um, like tomorrow. Well, yeah. well, tonight. Yeah, sort of. We're staying overnight in the in the airport. Yeah, and then what? tomorrow morning because we have a very early flight. So tomorrow morning we're gonna leave straight from the airport and go to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be in like the airport lobby so that we don't have to get up super super early to get there. Right. Yeah. So today is kind of gonna show you how we what our day looks like. It's pretty chaotic. It's gonna be chaotic energy to like the 10th degree. Yeah. Um, but it should be fun. So the first thing we have to do is, I rented a lens for this camera to take with us on the trip to try it out. Cause I was interested in buying it, but it's an expensive lens. So I wanted mm. to try it first, see if it works good. That's something though that I think is a good tip. If, if you are like a camera enthusiast or you're just wanting to like upgrade your equipment, um, always, well, not always, we always rent it first just to make sure it's worth the money. Right. So that's what we're going to do right now is pick up that lens and then uh, we have to mail something. We have to mail a package out to our friend Donzel. Yeah. Oh, and while you guys are gone, so they're going to go do that. I'm going to stay back and I have to finish packing. So you guys are going to have a little bit of fun with me. And then I have to do some editing and um, just some other stuff around the house really quick. And then, yeah, we'll just, we'll have some more home vlog fun. Yeah. What do we say to Siri, buddy? We say, tell me a joke. Oh. She was listening to you. Hey Siri, tell me a joke. Did you hear about the man who lost the right side of his I car? I got it! Apparently it was just left behind. I got it! <laughs> you did it, buddy. You did it. <laughs> Alright, let's go, buddy. Daddy and buddy in the car. You yeah. ready? Yeah! Alright! Alright, here's where we're going. We're going to the lensdepot.com. Yeah. It's nice because it's a local place that we can pick up the stuff from. Pick up a lens, like a lens rental from. Rather than having to wait for it, right, buddy? Yay. Yeah, let's go look inside. All right, so Tim and Jackson are out running some errands. Like we said, Tim had to go get that lens that we're gonna use for this trip. So currently, I am trying to figure out what I'm gonna bring on this trip. And I feel like I wish I didn't wait till the very last second to always pack, but that's just kind of what I do. And I, it never works for me. I don't know why I always do this, but let me just show you my stack of clothes and then I'll show you what we have for Jackson. This is where we're at right now. All right, so right now, I think I'm just gonna bring a lot of dresses because that's just the easiest thing to pack, but it's also the easiest thing to kind of plan for because you just need shoes. You just need your dress and your shoes and you're good. So, and then I have some of my like uh, sleep, like clothes, my sleeping clothes, like my nightgowns, my like pajamas, there you go. And then I have my pajamas. I've got all of my bathing suits I if more than likely I'm just going to wear two of them, but I'm going to go ahead and bring eight of them. Then we have the stuff I'm going to wear on the plane and just some other like miscellaneous t-shirts and shorts because the weather's supposed to be amazing. The weather is supposed to be like 80 degrees every day and then like 70 degrees at night. And then this is all of Jackson's pajamas and socks. And then I also have Jackson's like shorts and t-shirts, his bathing suit. We need to get him a new bathing suit and his pajamas, but these... This is the one that he wore on the cruise and he was like sliding down that slide, the Mr. Ray slide. And it has, it has like a, it's about to get like a little hole in the butt. So I got to figure that out. Of course, Tim is like already fully packed. He's so good about packing. He definitely works really well on a schedule and I don't. <laughs> that's something I got to work on. Hopefully in 2022, that's what I'll be working on. But that's everything that Tim's bringing. Yeah, right, this is the lens that we rented. This is a G. 24 to 105 f4 with stabilization that's what i'm kind of excited for is the stabilization and the better zoom a little bit heavy but the one that's on here is already heavy so let's have a look at the difference all right so this is the current lens this is a tamaron 28 to 75 right yeah 28 to 75 2.8 but i usually keep it around 4.0 anyways no stabilization on it so we will switch over to the sony right now all right i do like that it's a lot wider not a lot wider but at least a little bit wider Feels pretty good. I'm kind of shaking it a little bit. I don't know if you're seeing that because of the stabilization. Maybe you're not. So that'll be good. Hopefully it will be steadier. We'll see. That's the idea at least is that when we're moving around, it's a little bit heavier, which is, you know, not ideal, but what are you gonna do, right? 
like that's the way that it goes because this one has more zoom to it so it'll be a, like more of a lens also the uh the tamron has some plastic components to it whereas this one i think is all metal so that'll make it a little bit heavier so now we're gonna go try to find a post office i'm gonna do a quick zoom over on some trees over there and see how it works so let's see here pretty good pretty stable i like that still has a little bit of a shake to it but it's not bad oh well, maybe that's just the trees blowing in the wind yeah okay this is nice pretty steady lens we'll have to walk around with it and see how it does we're back home yeah look at that a little bit wider angle lens what's the difference between this and like any lens that we have this one's a little bit wider and can zoom further and is stabilized oh okay but doesn't work in the dark as well but I think that'll be okay for this trip. Because and it's a little bit heavy. Yeah, it looks huge. <laughs> it looks really big. Um, but I think that'll be good for this trip because I don't think we are going to be doing anything much at night at least. No, I don't think so. Because so. Jackson will be in bed and a lot of the stuff at the resort that we're going to is closed after like 7 anyway. Right. So it's just going to be a lot of bright daytime stuff. Bright daytime stuff. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. You want to see it, buddy? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Too close. <laughs> oh, that's the other thing is this one doesn't focus as close. Uh, okay. Okay, lunch time. Here's a fun thing that we do now. Where are you going, bud? I'm going this way. You're just going this way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What's over there? What are you trying to go to? X. Oh, the X. You found it. X marks the spot. Is that where the pirate's treasure is? Yeah. It is. Let me see. Show me the X. Thanks. Oh, you found it. Good job. Wait, what are we making? Strawberry syrup in there. Jackson, what are we making? Strawberry cake. A strawberry cake? cake? Who Some are you making a cake for, bud? Chocolate on there. <laughs> right? Does that look and yummy? Some sprinkles. Mmm. <laughs> and then a tomato. Ooh, what do you think? Does tomato go in cake? Okay. Is, is it a tomato cake? Okay, well, let's cook it in the oven, not the microwave, okay? Here, let's open up this one. Right? And we'll put it in the oven. Put that one underneath, okay. Now close the door. Set the temperature to 450. 250, perfect. Oh, that'll be a good cake. All right, keep turning it until we get to right here. There you go, perfect, right there. All right, now we set the timer. Let it go. Beep, 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 beep. All right, now we have to let it cook. Bing! Is it ready? It's ready. Let's see our cake, let's, let's see, see it. Our cake looks like. It didn't even oh. have any oven mitts. Wow, look at that cake, buddy. Is it so good? Yeah. Do you yeah. want to have a piece of you cake? Wanna, you want to bite it? Here. Have a piece. Yum, 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 yum. Oh, that was so good, huh? Here, have a pretend piece. Hold your hand up. There you go. Have a pretend piece. Whoa. Yummy. Mm. Was that the best cake ever? Do it again. Do it again? Cook it again? All right, make mommy a cake. All right, so now I am heading off to get my hair cut because I need a haircut. But it's been like, uh, so the last time I got a haircut was when we went to Art of Shaving back at the beginning of November. And now it's December 7th. So we went on November 1st, he my haircut, and now it's December 7th. So way overdue for a haircut. I am so excited. I love getting my haircut. So let's go, let's go get my haircut. So I'm back from my haircut. And now is when the chaos begins. Because Jackson is gonna go to sleep. He didn't sleep while I was gone. He was supposed to sleep while I was gone. He was supposed to have a nap, but he didn't. Uh, so he should go to sleep around eight-ish, 7.30, eight-ish. But we have to get to the hotel, so we have to get everything packed in the car and to the hotel and like everybody settled down by like 8. That would be ideal because we have to get up early. Probably have to get up around 5 to get out there by like, get through security by 6. That should be good. Um, yeah, because our plane flight's at 7. So, chaos, right? We have to finish packing. Let's do it. So we are uh, almost there. It's about 6.30 right now. I've got all the bags downstairs. I've got most everything in the other bags. Like I've got a bag for myself, a bag for Jen, a bag for Jackson, and then I've got the backpack that has like all the electronics in it. 
And then I'm bringing like a little satchel that's just gonna carry like the camera like that you guys are in right now. In it, it's, the camera clips to the side of it. It's got an extra lens in it. Maybe like sunglasses. I think that's it. I think Jen might carry a carry-on backpack. We got the diaper bag too. Man, it's kind of a lot of stuff, but it's the way it is. So I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So we're gonna be there for kind of a while. So both Jen and I have check bags. We're just gonna check this bag. That's got all of our shoes and Jackson's clothes in it. All of Jackson's diapers are in here. Lots of stuff. We have his diaper bag over here. We gotta bring the iPad. We've got peanut Jen. Got to bring peanut butter puffs with and Elmo. This that Jackson's been carrying around. We got to bring Jackson. What's oh, that? And we got to bring this picture of Jackson meeting Santa. Oh, okay. So perfect. Hope we have room. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, this backpack is what I keep all my electronics in. So this will have like the laptop, so extra wait. cards, extra batteries, is all your, the cords. Is your little um, new case is that considered a carry-on? Like, can you have both? No, it's considered a personal. So what does... So this is my carry-on. Oh, okay. And then the little my little purse is a personal. Ah, okay. You just bringing all of these Daddy, all these photos all. over here? Here's a, here's another look. Oh, there's there's Jackson and Daddy. Yeah, we walking on, down the street. We went on a walk to look at Christmas lights. Don't throw them, buddy. We gotta keep them nice. Okay. okay. Jackson, uh -huh. how much did you sleep today for your nap? Did you have a nap today? Yeah. No, no you, you didn't. didn't. <laughs> That's why you're throwing Remy as hard as you can at the carpet. Oh no. So that's actually why I didn't film anymore when when you were gone for your haircut. Because I was yeah. going to film more and show you guys like what I was doing, but I was literally just trying to get him to sleep for like three hours. So didn't I didn't film that. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. You did good though. Thanks. It's so funny because there comes a point in every trip that we take where we're packing and we get to a point where we're just like, we probably got it. I think, maybe. And you just kind of go, hmm. if we have it, we have it. All right, so aside from the diaper bag, this is everything that we're bringing. Yay. So this has all camera stuff in it and cords and chargers and things like that. This has the computer and Jackson's iPad in there and snacks for Jackson, like snacks on snacks. This has got all of Jackson's clothes and our shoes. This has got all my clothes and all of Jackson's diapers and uh, my fins and my snorkel and more of Jackson's food. <laughs> and this has got Jen's stuff, all of our toiletries, and then extra space for souvenirs in there. And then this is my little pouch that I'm bringing with me. The camera clips on the side over here. And then it's got an extra charger in it for the phone. It's got my glasses case, my wallet, and an extra lens. And I think that's it. All right, this is where we're staying tonight. The Hyatt Regency at the airport. All right, buddy, we're gonna get in an elevator. You ready? Yeah. You ready? All right, let's go inside. It's, it's so funny because I've never parked in terminal top parking. And it's literally, we were just right outside that door. Yeah. And now we're just like inside of the airport. Don't have to go up and down elevators or escalators or anything like that. We're just here. It seems so calm right now. Right, because it's nighttime. Right? All right, let's go check in. We're going up. We're in one of the one of the glass elevators. We're in a wonk elevator, buddy. Whoa! All right, let's have a quick look around. So we already have we requested a crib, and they have it preset in here. We'll probably move it back into the wide open area here. Some nice little like hooks for you to hang your coats up on. There's a what is this? This is the light switch. Oh, I like it. There it is. Okay. Nice little spot for you to hang all your suits and stuff. And you got an ironing board and an iron in there. A couple little drawers here. The biggest TV I've ever seen in any hotel room. <laughs> it is really big. Nice little king size bed over here. I like how you called it a nice little king size bed. Yeah. It looks comfortable. Some USBs over there in the corner. I love a good USB. Jackson's pointing them out to you. <laughs> I like these little like bendy lights on either side of the bed too. Are they bendy? Yeah. Oh yeah. So you can like point it at what you're doing. I love that. And there's another like big light across the back. Jackson's setting our alarm for 4.45 in the morning. Nice little mirror here for you to sit at this table and do some work and like check on your yourself. Some extra blankets. And this is really nice. Like a nice little container for these extra blankets and pillows. A safe, some a coffee maker, some water, a little refrigerator down here. This is a bed as well, like a pull-out bed. 
Do you know what? When I when I well, reserved this like room, oh, there's a ceiling fan. How strange. Oh yeah. Hey, the only other hotel room that I've ever seen with a ceiling fan is the old Key West at Disney. Yeah, that's so weird, huh? You okay, buddy? You lost? Uh oh, where'd you go? Um, but I feel like when I when I bought this room, like when I did the oh, there's like a light underneath the bed too. Look at that. Ooh. Um, when I requested this room or when I like, when you what is it? it? When I booked this room, I requested a, just a plain old king size room. Yeah. But I think that this is an expanded king size room with a little bit extra room. Yeah. This was like a $25 upcharge that I didn't pay, but I think we just got like a nice little upgrade. Hmm. We also have a balcony that looks over the lobby. Yeah. It looks over the Christmas tree. Oh, we're like at the very top though. Look at this. Ooh, Let's see so here. How do I get out of this room? The balcony door is locked for your safety. I guess we can't go out. Can we not get out? Wow. I would like to go out there. Well, I guess it's locked now, so we can't, because this would normally would be like a thumb turn that we could turn. Not anymore. Huh. But well. if we look kind of at an extreme angle, maybe if you guys look up and over, you might be able to see nothing over there <laughs> well we're on the very top floor too which is kind of neat if you think about it but yeah there's a, there's a christmas tree down there somewhere we well, gotta order some dinner i'm starving yeah so um it's 24 hour room service here so that's nice. really nice yeah so we're, we're gonna get some dinner from mccoy's which is the restaurant in the airport and we've eaten there before it's really good you know what else is 24 hours here what the bad lighting oh no Oh, I just realized I forgot to show you all the bathroom. Oh, the bathroom has a glass door on it. Look at that. I feel like that would make a good night light. Just kind of like the light coming through there. So beautiful mirror. Look at this thing. And then if you turn off the lights, there is a little night light underneath there. Do you see it just turned on? Uh, commode. Some nice artwork of a flower. The bathtub. Very nice. Pretty standard stuff. Pharmacopia Citrus Facial Bar. Okay. Oh yeah, look at that. Got everything in there. That's pretty unusual, right? They've got body wash and a bar of soap. There's also a pad that we could put in there so that it's non-slip for if we were giving Jackson a bath. We're not giving him a bath today, but there's also a makeup mirror down there. Huh, this is really nice. Like, it's kind of a lot of amenities in here for this room. Well, there's a place up here called Hemisphere. Views, food, and drinks. It's not open right now, but it like overviews the runway, it looks like. All right, now we get to see what the view is like from the elevator. Can we do four? Uh, wherever the lobby is. Yeah, four. four. Thank you, buddy. Yeah, see, there's the Christmas tree. Here we go. Whee! Do you see the Christmas tree, buddy? Look over here. Is that cool? We're going down to pick up some food right now. From so the room service is 24 hours, but you can also just pick it up. Nice. So there's a bar over here. And also, McCoy's. That's where we're going to pick up our food is over at McCoy's. Jackson, what's this right here? Behind this, there's a piano. Ding, 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 ding. All right, so we just picked up our food. Jackson is eating a cheese quesadilla. Right there's the rest of it. I thought it would come with other stuff to go on it, but it's it's literally just a cheese quesadilla. Yeah, with some French fries. Yeah. And then I got this is the Strauss burger. Actually meant to add bacon to it, but I forgot. And then Jen got. I got the salmon with. Uh, sushi rice and asparagus and then it has everything like, everything seasoning on it. I think it's like everything bagel seasoning. Okay. <laughs> and then we got this San Pellegrino and then I got a, a brownie a la mode. Mm -hmm. How much do you think it was? Oh, all together? Yeah. I mean, I saw the total. Cheese and crackers. <laughs> it was $85. Yeah, I'm sure it's not going to be like worth the price, but I'm so hungry. Yeah, right? <laughs> oh gosh. That was a very expensive burger. Right, here's a little bit better look at my burger. I mean, it doesn't look terrible. 
I like Jackson's little feet like kicking around behind it. <laughs> you like your quesadilla? Now it's 10.04. How fun is that? There's a, a clock in the, in the mirror. But it is time to go to bed because we have a very early morning tomorrow. Gonna get on a plane. We're gonna be traveling all day long. It's gonna be a very long day. So we need to get at least a little bit of sleep. So it was a good day. It was a very hectic day. 90% sure we forgot something, but that's okay. It's still gonna be a fun trip. Good morning from the airport hotel. We're getting ready to get on a plane. Hi. I know, right? It is now 5.50 and we're gonna be trying to walk out the door at six, trying to get to the airplane because I think it starts or it leaves at 7.10. So we gotta get through the airport pretty quick. Should be okay. I don't think there's gonna be a lot of people out this early. So good times. Well, let's do it. I'm very tired. Are you tired, Jackson? Yeah. I know, everybody's tired. All right, Jackson, say goodbye to this hotel room. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, it was nice. It was actually very nice. Like I didn't sleep very much just because of nervousness. I didn't either. But like if if it were just like a normal non-nervous time, I would totally sleep well in this bed. These um, I will say the sheets are kind of like weird. Yeah, they're very thin too. Yeah, they, it, yeah, it was kind of cold in here. There was literally no blanket. We well, there's this one which is supposed to go to that. <laughs> Tim Tim had to get me a towel. Yeah, I put a towel on top of Jen. <laughs> um. But I'm, I'm just happy that we were able to stay here because this made it so much easier. Yeah. So there you go. There's a big a big plus. Yeah. All right, let's do it. All right, buddy. We're on a train now. You ready? Say thanks, Buddy Dyer. Ooh. Also, it is a very foggy out today. Let's see if we can see the... Oh, okay. I'm falling over. I got to hold on to it. Oh, geez. Okay. There we go. Oh man, it's a good thing. I almost forgot all my Kylie cosmetics before getting on the plane. And they also sell Kylie face masks, just in case. You made it this far through the airport without, an, without a face mask. Oh, man. There's another jump, buddy. Okay, let's see this big jump getting onto a plane, buddy. You ready? Whoa! Oh, we're moving. You made us move. Wow! No, no, this one right here, buddy. Touch it. Touch it right there. Okay. Good job, buddy. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna touch it too. Alright, buddy, don't tell mommy that daddy gave you a cookie for breakfast. But we're on vacation, right? Give me a thumbs up if you're cool with a cookie for breakfast. Yeah, that's right. We just began our descent into Minneapolis, and they told us that the current temperature on the ground is 7. Ooh, wow. seven degrees in <laughs> so here, buddy. Cool in Let's here. get to the heat up here. Come on, buddy. Are you so cold? All right. We didn't pack warm enough clothes for this. All right, here we go. There's where the heat is. Straight ahead. This is kind of neat. There's like these little tables that we can sit at and eat and charge our phones and stuff like that. I don't know why, but I wasn't expecting there to be snow all over the equipment and the runways and everything. I knew that there was going to be snow out here, but I don't know. I just anticipated the entire runway being clear. Wow. Yeah, snow. Look at that. It's gonna be a stark contrast to where we're going. All right, Jackson. Do you see all that white stuff out there? Yeah. Do you know what that is? Well, other than the airplanes, the stuff on the ground. It's snow. It's so cold out there. There's snow all over the ground. Cause it's winter time. Yay! Yay, winter! Remember when we got off the plane and it was so cold? Yeah. That's what made all the snow. We're inside the uh, St. Paul Airport, and there's a store devoted to prints. That's awesome. This is my favorite thing. There's actual snow on the ground outside, but they're blowing fake snow in. Why? Doesn't make any sense. So, we're walking onto the plane. It's freezing. I totally thought that the plane was leaving later, so I had Tim go get sandwiches. And we were like the last people on the plane now, and we're eating on the plane. Right? Well, there's going to be food on the plane, <laughs> and we got firehouse soap. Oh my gosh. I hope it's not too smelly. Oh, I think it'll be okay. Okay. All right, Jackson, don't forget to touch the plane. Oh, good, there's a line. There's a little bit of a line. I was so nervous because I was like texting Tim frantically, like, we're gonna miss the plane, we're gonna miss the plane. I also wanted to mention, did you show them the print store? Yeah. Okay, so if you follow me on Instagram, my my like Instagram bio, it says, um, I live inside my own heart, Matt Damon, and that's a Prince quote. Nice. So Matt Damon met Prince um, after the Bourne movies came out, and he was like trying to make small talk with Prince, and he was like, Oh, so you you live in Minnesota? And he's like, 
I live inside my own heart, Matt Damon. Because <laughs> he didn't want to make small talk with him. Oh, there's so somebody I, behind us. Oh, good. I thought we were going to be the last people. All right, buddy. Touch the plane. Good job. Yeah, you follow these guys. Ooh, they let us go up to the cockpit. Hello. Hi, this must be Jackson. Hi, Jackson. Hi. Look at that. How this is doing? how they fly uh, the plane. Oh, what got, did you get? Like a cool card about the plane. Oh, it tells you about the plane. And our wings. Oh, they're upside down. Oh, and our wings. Wow. It's our pleasure to welcome you to Honolulu, where the local time is 4.50 p.m. On behalf of Delta and this Minneapolis-based crew, we've enjoyed having you on board, and we wish you an amazing time here in Honolulu or wherever your final destination may be. There we are. We have arrived in Oahu. Now, we get all of our stuff together, we hop in the car, and we head over to Oahu. Oh, it feels so much better here than it did in Minneapolis. All right, here we are. We have made it to Hawaii. It is so nice outside. It is the perfect temperature. I have to say this is like the most beautiful airport. It really like, is. I love, I love this. There's this whole entire garden area. It's beautiful. Right? It's uh, amazing. It's so nice. Yeah, and the weather is great. Compared to St. Paul, it's way better. Yeah. So we got a car service again, and this one was very cheap. This was actually the cheapest limo service on the whole, on, like on all of Hawaii. Tim said we might actually get a limo and I was like, whoa. But this yeah. is even better because this is way more room. All right, we're gonna do a quick tour right now, but then we have to get Jackson into bed because it is super late for him. So this is a one bedroom villa at Alani. There's a full kitchen here, full size refrigerator, anything you might need, a, a rice cooker, coffee maker, microwave, stuff like that, dishwasher. Uh, in here, washer and dryer. There's a huge table over here. There are two beds in here. I believe that this is a bed inside of this couch yeah and then this is a pull down bed this is where jackson's gonna sleep we have ocean view and luau view luau is happening right, is happening right now how do i get out of this place let me out let me out of here all right we open up this screen door this is interesting there's a screen door and we open up this door oh yeah yeah, yeah. So there's a luau happening down there. If you'd like to see a video about this luau, we did this the last time we stayed here, and we'll put a link to that video in the description down below. This is ocean view. I don't know if you guys can see the ocean out there, but it is out there. Jackson's loving it. Look at those shoes lighting up, partying say, down. I don't think that, I think if we were to stay again, I would request to not have the luau view. Yeah. 
because it is kind of loud and you can hear it in the room. All right, and then let's see what Jackson's bed will look like. Ooh, this is gonna be a nice bed for you, Jackson. Oh no, I forgot to put this down. I was like, I thought it was broken. I can't do it one-handed. There we go. All right. Oh, it's so close to the ground. Yeah. So oh, good. you brought me a towel. Thank you, Jackson. You sleep. You yeah. ready to go to sleep? I thought they had a um, like a character painting, like the ones at Disney World do. I thought they did too, but they hmm. do not. Oh, that was time. You're awake now. That, that was, was the next it. day. Wow. What's inside this little closet here? Oh, it's just like a nice little closet for you to have with a safe in it. Oh no! And <laughs> a basket. I I, I gotta say, this bed looks Sink. so comfortable. Oh yeah. I can't wait Sink. to sleep in this bed. Me and neither. I can't wait to take a bath in this bathtub. Thank you. Oh, this is so nice. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be amazing. Uh, also, this light lamp, beautiful. I think we talked about it the last time we were here. You were like, I wanna buy this lamp. And I think you can now. I think you can too. And I yeah. love these like little tapestries like on the oh, yeah. next to the bed. Wow. Wow. Man, I love everything about this place. It's nice. It's so nice. Got lots of storage here. Uh, I thought there was going to be a DVD player in that one weird empty spot, but there's not. Oh, and we didn't get to show you this when we first walked in, but they did have a happy birthday message for Jackson on the TV. Oh yeah. Because this is Tim's Father's Day trip, if you guys remember, and I'll link that video down below where we surprised you with the an Alani trip, but also we're here for Jackson's birthday as well. So yeah. And then the bathroom over here. Nice large tub. There's a vanity in here. This is another closet in here. It's pretty big. Yeah. Oh yeah. The towels and the blankets. Oh, what is that? It's a pack and play. Oh, okay. Nice. Oh, I too. And then there's an ironing board and an iron. And then in oh, here is thing. the commode and the shower. The shower. Yeah, I didn't actually figure out how to turn these lights on. There they are. Oh. You got it. I cannot wait to take a shower. So our travel day has been close to, I think, 15 hours. I think it's well past it now. Yeah, so like, this was the longest day ever. Jackson is deliriously tired. I want to take a shower. I'm just like so happy to be here. Whoa, what do you have? What do you have? Oh, what? he's just getting some, open. just getting some, uh, some dishwasher open. detergent. Thank you. Knock it over. You did Thank knock you, it over. Thank you. All right. So, uh, yeah, let's get Jackson to bed. All right. Yeah. So now we're going to get Jackson to bed and I'm going to go do some exploring after he's asleep. But, uh, right now, getting Jackson to bed. We need to call down and get the bed rails for it too. So he, he's a little wild right now. <laughs> for us back home, it's midnight. So I don't think he's ever been up this late in his life. No, <laughs> he's just running around. Cause it's like a circle. The room is a circle and he's just running the full, the full gamut. It's like a track for him. Which way is he coming? He's, he's over here. Come over here, please. Come this way, buddy. Go see daddy, go see daddy. Yay! Hey, bud. Tag, you're it. Oh, what's in there? The chopsticks. Oh, very cool, buddy. So it's it's only like eight o'clock at night. Jackson just went to sleep. I'm going down to the first floor to head over to the Olu room to try to get some food, like a little bit of something. Uh, but that closes at eight thirty, so we're gonna do a little bit of exploring, Lord. look around, get some food. All right, it's kind of wild. So we're over in that tower right there. And the Olu room is over here in this tower. And it just kind of seems like that tower is the loud tower. Because not only is there the luau, but when I came out of the elevator, there's somebody singing over here towards the lobby. And this is just a little bit further away from that. But this, the lights that you see ahead of us are the Olu room. Or I'm sorry, I keep calling it the Olu room. It is Olu Cafe. Oh, I like this. They have little presentations out front like they do in Japan. Show off some of the food. Oh yeah, lots like grab and go options. Poke bowls, acai and oatmeal, breakfast platters. Oh, they have all kinds of holiday stuff in here. Like, take for instance, this is a white chocolate macadamia nut cookie. This is a chocolate chip cookie. There's a gingerbread cookie. This is a holiday sandwich cookie. So I'm assuming it's like a, a white chocolate dipped Oreo. 
holiday sugar cookie macadamia nut brownie oh my goodness gracious and just a regular brownie ooh and then rice krispie treats i think this is a cake pop but it's gigantic and then a holiday hot cocoa bomb and they give the instructions on how to do it here too Side note, no USBs next to the bed. Zero out of 10 stars. Now, oh, well, your side has them. Oh. <laughs> in the alarm clock. Yeah. Not my side. Uh -huh. And there aren't any over here by the, the, on like the desk thing. So we did get some flatbreads. This is Jen's Kahlua pork flatbread. Red onions, oh. pineapple, green onions, cheese, barbecue sauce and that's what I got I got pepperoni and sausage yummy yummy hey guys future Tim here we were actually so exhausted at the end of our travel day that I totally forgot to film an outro so we hope that you guys enjoyed this video though with our our pre-travel like planning to go packing and all that other stuff staying at the Hyatt at the airport and then our super long travel day going to St. Paul Minnesota we got to see some snow then we landed in Hawaii, got to see our first glimpse of Alani. It was very exciting. I can't wait for you guys to see the rest of the series. We've got a lot more to show you guys, a lot more fun. We got to do some exploring of the island. We got to do some exploring of the resort. Saw some really amazing things, had some really good memories. So I can't wait for you guys to see this entire Alani series. It was such a good trip. So with that being said, we are off. We'll see you all tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.